Enjoy is brought to you by Gondor Cosmetics and Societe Generale Ghana. Enjoy. Most people who know me know that I'm a fabric junkie. So today's feature is actually, I'm so glad I'm here doing this one and not Bobier, but we're talking about made in Ghana fabric, made in Ghana clothing, and we're talking about Osei Drew. Now, I'm here with Lee, and she's going to walk me through the entire process of how Osei Drew comes up with their creative uh, clothing. And you can see, look at the wall here, and all the samples they have that they're getting ready to make. Hi, Lee. Hi. I'm, I'm trying not to get too carried away, because, no. like I said, when it comes to fabric, I'm in love. Tell me how all of this fits into your brand, Osei Drew. So this is the, where the research and development happens. Here we'll, we take sort of the shapes that we're interested in and try to match them up with the fabrics to create like a story for, for each season. It's, you know, the textiles are a part of everyday life in a way that you would never see in North America. So most of the fabric that they make here, the clothes they make here, are exported? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have uh, stores that carry our brand all over North America, some in Europe, one in Singapore. Um, really? Yeah, we're meeting with distributors in South Africa. It's Look at that. we're bringing spreading Ghana to exactly. the rest of the world. Exactly. <laughs> Ghana on the map. Yeah. This is amazing. Okay, I'm excited to see a lot more of the practicality of Osedra and exactly what your dyers and tailors and stuff all doing. And of course the finished product, because yeah. I'll probably go shopping <laughs> in your shop. Um, so from here, what are we going to see? Where are so we going? we're going to go to the dyer, um, our dyer Nana. So he does our batik dyeing, which is a really interesting. Hello. Hi. Hello. Nana, how are yes, you? I'm very well. <laughs> Welcome to Iroko Batiks. Thank That's you. That's my factory. OK, now, so this is where you work your magic yes. in coming up with the designs, the tie-dye designs that I just saw some samples of. Yeah. Okay, so about how many designs do you come up with, let's say in a day or a week? On average, we, we work like um, like 200 yards in maybe a week, yeah. 200 yards? Yeah. And what about the fabric? What are some of the different types? Mainly they use 100% um, cotton fabric or silk, but okay. I think the silk is organic. If it's not mm. organic, you cannot pick the dye. From start to finish, how long will it take you to get the design that you want on it? For this one we're doing, it might take um, me about just an hour to finish oh. everything, yeah. Okay. This design will be an abstract one. So a flat foam is used, which is dipped in wax and then applied all over the fabric. You want to try it? Okay, hold on. And then I just... Okay. You passed. <laughs> <laughs> I will employ you. <laughs> yes! Um... The next step is to dye the fabric. We are using a lovely combination of pink and violet to dye the fabric. And we, we are going to paint. We're going to paint over the fabric. Okay. So we use this brush and then we paint over it. So you have, um, you know we mix pink and violet. Yes. So we're going to have a marbling of pink and violet on this fabric. Nice. Yes. The fabric is then so dipped in water. Then the dye is applied by brushing it onto the fabric. So we're done with this one. The dye now needs to be set in the fabric for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the fabric is rinsed to remove the excess dye and then dipped in hot water. After one final rinse, then voila! Look how beautiful that is. Those colors are stunning. So this is uh, a product. Yay! You help, you help in this one, so. <laughs> <laughs> my, my stamp, my stamp is too. on that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so after a hard hour's work, here's our finished product, which looks beautiful, doesn't it? We're going to see what the real finished products look like when we visit the Osedro store in Osu, and we'll see the garments that are made out of these batik and tie-dyed fabrics. Okay. Hi. 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 The next part of my Osedro okay, so experience you... took me to meet designer Tracy Bagnena, who is contracted to turn the fabrics into beautiful outfits. So they bring designs to you, or do you create designs based on the fabric that you get no, from them? No, they bring designs, they bring the fabrics, they have the patterns, they're really organized okay. and really professional about what they're doing. Yeah. So what I mainly do for them is the production, so the sewing part. Got yes. it. Wow. And those are going over the, all over the world? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure that you're quite proud of that. Yes, <laughs> yeah. 
The final stop today is at El Loco, where the Osedro outfits are stocked. The Osedro brand is known for its organic prints, housewares, and accessories. With over 40 stockists worldwide and an online store, the line has been recognized by Vogue.com as the new wave of chic, sustainable designers. So Osedro has uh, international appeal, as we said, and uh, in fact, one of the skirts that uh, we've seen earlier on is something that Michelle Obama has worn in one of her public outings. The outfits that, as I said, are carrying Africa out there and uh, showing that quality can come from Ghana and from other African countries, and um, we're making a statement in that sense. <laughs> Enjoy is brought to you by Gondor Cosmetics and Societe Generale Ghana.